The World Giraffe Day, which is celebrated annually on June 21st in order to raise support and create awareness of the challenges giraffe face in the world, was marked uniquely in Wajia County. The day was marked in style in the presence of the prominent personalities led by Governor Ahmed Ali Mukhtar, Karimi Mbaka, County Warden in charge of Wajia branch of Kenya Wildlife Service, County employees, religious leaders led by Dr. Adam Yunis, and the members of the public. Wajia, branded as the home of the Somali giraffe, observed the day as a special one, opening the field for the locals to celebrate it as they join other celebrities globally. The CEC Environment, Energy and Natural Resources, Mrs. Rone Mayo Yusuf, in her remarks, noted how Somali giraffe is a pride to the county and promised to place Wajia on the position of ambassador for a giraffe. The giraffes that we have in Wajia are called the Somali giraffe. Because of that, we said, I think it will be very fair to brand our county as the home of Somali giraffe. As a cabinet, we have taken a memo to the, as to the cabinet. It has been approved, and we were supposed to put signages all the corners of Wajia, so that anybody who is coming to Wajia will know that now you are in the home of Somali giraffe. There was a small problem with our budget, but this time, uh, Your Excellency, I think thanks enough. As we are preparing the budget, we have put money aside to make sure that we have signages, and very soon, all the entrance of Wajia, we will have a signage showing that now you are in the home of Somali giraffe. When we talk of the giraffe, we all know that it is the, the Somali giraffe that we have are very much concentrated in around Wajia. And the reason mean, mean we have a lot of agacia trees in Wajia. These animals feed on the agacia tree because they are tall, the agacia trees are tall, and that is where they get their food. But it is unfortunately, the trees are also disappearing. As we conserve our, our giraffe, we should also conserve our environment, our trees, because these animals are feeding on these trees. So they go together. We cannot talk of conserving the giraffe and say we cannot conserve the environment. They go together. The trees, the giraffe, all of them go together. So let us conserve the environment. Let us conserve the giraffe because that is our heritage. That is our pride. Mr. Karim Mbaka, the KWS boss in Wajia, urged the community to put conservation and the protection of the giraffe as the first priority. He also promised to initiate a program to educate the locals on the importance of the endangered animal. My name is Karim Mbaka. I work for Kenya Wildlife Service. I'm the, I'm the county warden in charge of Wajia. Uh, today, as we celebrate, the giraffe, which is the most unique animal to be celebrated all over the world, I would like to urge the communities first to help us into the conservation and protection of this unique animal called the giraffe. Remember, it is a challenge that almost the entire population of the Lord Sound Giraffe or the Somali Giraffe is in Wanjia County and it is living in community land. Of course, there are many uh, community conservancies coming up, uh, like Saboli uh, Community Conservancy and the rest. But as at now, we have only two community conservancies which you can say they are operational. So it is a challenge if we don't involve the communities fully for the conservation and protection of this animal because there are no national parks or national reserves in the county. Your Excellency the Governor, at the moment, we are mapping out all the strategic areas of concern for the conservation of giraffe together with, um, with the Department of Environment in your county, in your county government. And uh, very soon, we shall have reports on which areas that are most concerned for us. There are challenges 
for the conservation of giraffe in this county. Uh, without even mentioning the, 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 the poaching issues first, there are also issues of the climate change. Sometimes during the drought, we normally have demise of the giraffes. There is a, what one of the officers talked to you about, the, this disease, which is a skin disease, which is sometimes affecting the giraffe, but altogether, the population of the affected giraffes is, uh, is, 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 is not very significant. Uh, but um, the collaboration that we have with your departments in this field, and also the, the, the national government, and now as we continue with the plans to reach out to all the communities within the key areas where the giraffe is living, we are going to have success in the conservation and protection of this animal. Governor Ahmed Ali Mukhtar, in his speech, welcomed the multi-agency team from the Wildlife Research and Training Institute, which is doing the first national wildlife census in Kenya. We work in collaboration with the national government in protecting our wildlife for the future generation. In this regard, the Minister of Tourism and Wildlife, uh, Kenya Wildlife Service, and the newly created Wildlife Research and Training Institute have launched, and this has been said earlier, have launched the first ever national wildlife census covering both the land and aquatic wildlife on the 7th of May uh, this year. Other guests who spoke during the event echoed the earlier speakers on the need to protect the endangered giraffes only found in Wajia County. As a department, we are celebrating like another world, the, we are celebrating the World Environment, World Giraffe Day, which is celebrated on 21st June every year. As you may remember, last, last two weeks ago, 1st Ju June 5th, we also celebrated the World Environment Day. Your Excellency, and as a department, we are doing all we can to ensure that we preserve and protect our giraffe. And when we talk about, when we talk about conservation or preservation of animals, uh, you, can't, you can't protect giraffe only and other wild species and forget about the trees because the trees, especially the acacia tree and the giraffe are like conjoined twins. If you kill one, the rest will, the other will also die automatically. On that note, I want to take this opportunity to thank the county commissioner and his team for the collaboration we had last week where we arrested a number of people from El Addo and Kul Ali area who were doing charcoal burning and uh, logging. And already one of the guys has been sentenced to one month imprisonment. And the wildlife is, changing, is facing a lot of challenge. One of the biggest challenge we have is poaching. And uh, as a department, we don't have our own personnel. Maybe we can call Wajia County wildlife officers uh, for, uh, and, and wildlife wardens. And we rely with the collaboration and the cooperation with the national government through the Kenya Wildlife Service. It is my honor again and pleasure to be here in Wajia celebrating the World Giraffe Day. It is a very important day, especially for us in Wajia County and especially for us in Northeastern. Today, as you're aware, 21st of June was chosen because it is the longest day in the whole year. And because giraffe is the tallest animal and the longest animal, that is why it was chosen for your information. Now, in Wajia, this is especially important for us because of the giraffe population that we have here. And it is especially important because Wajia County, alhamdulillah, after last year's celebration, officially adopted the county slogan. And I thank again our governor, who was the deputy governor then, for adopting this together with the county secretary and uh, uh, our previous governor. And the whole cabinet adopted Wajia to be the home of the Somali giraffe. I've said it before, giraffe has got different tribes.